All right, monkeys, here we are, back two times at new, the Daily Rant today. On the heels of the possibly the best pay-per-view of the young year so far, TNA Lockdown. <coughs> the X Division escape match I didn't see too much of. Um, Jay, I saw Jay Lethal take a six-suicide dive to win the match. Uh, the Queen of the Cage with Christy Hemi, Salinas, Jackie, Miss Brooks, Angelina Love, Tally Dow. Uh, Roxy Laveau and Rocket Khan. Uh, it was Angelina Love and Laveau ended up in the ring in the cage for the one-on-one -on -one match. Uh, Laveau hit the cage and dropped, scored a three count out of five. Totally, I give it a two out of two out of five stars to the match. It was okay. They worked a decent angle. Um, the grudge match: BG James and Kip James. BG won by a roll up on the three count. Uh, I give it two out of five. Um, I'll give it one extra to bump it up to three for uh, Kip attacking BG after so they didn't go out with a soft uh, words just were still friends ending. Uh, Cuffed in a Cage, Rock and Rave versus Kaz and EY, Relic and Black Rain, Motor City Machine Guns versus LAX and versus Steiner and Petey Williams. Um, Kaz Flux Capacitor on Rave was sick. Uh, Hoyt Choke Slam on Kaz off the cage was absolutely fucking sick. Um, Eric's Super Eric's arrival. His cage dive was awesome. Um, Eric and Kaz won after EY hit it. Eric Driver and Black Rain. I gave that one five out of five stars. That was a great match. Um, <clears throat> still recovering from karaoke. Gail Kim and ODB versus Awesome Kong Rice. Saeed. Gail Kim's Hurricane Rana on Saeed. Perfect. Um, off top of the cage. ODB hit a splash on Saeed. Scored a three count. I gave that one four out of five. That was a great match. Um, I would challenge the any of the WWE Divas to put on a match that good. Um, Booker T and Charm Elvers, Rudin, Peyton Banks. Rudin Booker did a couple good spots, um, but Peyton Banks and Charm Elvers ended up deciding the outcome of the match, and I thought it was weak. Um, I gave that one Charm Elvers pin Peyton for a 1 2 3. I gave that one 1 out of 5 stars. Not very good in my opinion. Lethal Lockdown, Tomco, Team 3D, AJ Styles, James Storm versus Cage, Rhino, Sting, Matt Morgan, and Kevin Nash. I was really excited to see Matt Morgan get in the ring. Um, left a lot to be desired, though. Definitely left a lot to be desired. Um, Cage, Christian Cage's dive off the top under Rainstorm was nothing short of amazing. Um, Styles' ladder spot with uh, Storm and Christian on top the cage with the table was, <laughs> was another great move. Um, Rhino's gore on Storm to end the match was okay. Um, I didn't really care for the way they ended it, but I still gave the match four out of five, four and a half stars out of five, because just the way it was worked, and those guys really put their bodies in the line. Devon spilled a lot of blood, as always. The TNA World Heavyweight Championship match, uh, Kurt Angle, the champion against Samoa Joe, the challenger. Joe loses. He was going to leave wrestling for good. Um, I like the fact they put Frank Trigg on color commentary, even though it, that, if he wasn't that good, it gave him that little MMA feel to it. Um, entrances and introductions were great. Um, Joe and Kurt had that was so far um, my one of my nominations for match of the year, other than HBK and Flair WrestleMania. Um, the two had a lot, a, a fucking technically amazing match. Um, I gave this one five out of five. There was no filler in the match at all. It was great. Um, Joe and Kurt worked perfectly together. Uh, both fantastic competitors. It was really good to see Angle put Joe over because Joe's been there since the beginning and he deserved it. He really deserved to win that match. Um, a couple little cliff notes. Steiner giving that fan's face and he came out and you see him flip the fan off and told him to call him a stupid motherfucker and they were going back and forth. Um, that was hilarious. <laughs> Robert Rude, they've got him pegged out to be like Joey Botafuco, the woman beater. Um, and Karen Angles screaming at the security, don't fucking touch me, don't you fucking touch me, when they were trying to get her to leave the front row, it was good. She's horrible as an actress. I think that was just her being bitchy. Um, I'm going to rest the uh, voice up the rest of the night. i got to go to work in the morning, so that's it. I'm going to put a new video on after I get done lifting tomorrow night before Monday Night Raw. And I'll finally tell you what I think about the WWE's current situation, which after WrestleMania and the last Raw, I wasn't really too happy, so... That's it. Have a good night. Hope you enjoyed lockdown. Peace, bear